just found on the road. Let's see you guys, you guys need our Supra. We found the Supra, baby! Let's go! Hell yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> We just arrived. We're gonna get everything ready so when the car actually arrives, we can actually put the wheels on and we can set it up. I don't think they know that the, but we had to switch the wheels, right? We did, so the wheels, the stance is so wide that it doesn't fit in any trailer. So we ended up putting the uh, old set of wheels, which they're very, very narrow. And that was the only way we could put in the trailer. So we have our set here and we're gonna prep it for you guys. So when you guys come see the car in person and in the video, it'll look amazing for you guys. I think uh, next year we ought to just build some normal cars, right? We'd be building some wide cars. Yeah, I know, they're like, no, we didn't. This is the first time. We built two very, very wide cars and none of them fit in the trailer, so here we are, two sets of wheels. Real quick, which wheels are better? Because these are sick. These are super sick. I don't know, which ones do you like better? The Motegis or the Rotor? I honestly, I, I like them both. Like they both got their purpose. If this was like my street everyday car, I would love to have something like this. It feels like a drag car like that one. Those things are so sick. I like them both. I really like both styles. <laughs> We are waiting with little TJ. We are waiting. Car's here. Let's see if we can get it off. We've been waiting for 15, 20 minutes now and we have to wait even more, so we'll see. All right, we finally made it to the area that they're gonna drop off the car off the trailer. From here, we'll take it to the McGuire's booth and we'll put the wheels on. What do you guys think about this WRX? I know everybody was hating on it when it first came out, but check this one out, it looks really freaking sick. You think we should build one of these? I think we should. 2023? I know our audience is very big on Subi, and I think this should be one of the ones we build either next year or maybe. I think we should for sure. Comment below if you guys think we should build a uh, WRX for next year. We're gonna take a quick break from the SEMA video to let you know that we are running our Black Friday sales all month long on throttle.com. We have sales on clutches, coilovers, wheels, brakes. We even sell tires now, performance stuff. Everything is on sale and it is our deepest sales of the entire year. So if you wanna get your orders in before the crazy rush of Black Friday, hop on over to the site, check out the link in the video description. And remember that every $1 you spend is one automatic entry to win our Civic Type R plus $20,000 cash. So as I said, this is the deepest discounts we run all year long and they're live right now. So get those orders in, now back to the video. All right, so the car is finally off the trailer. It is time for us to get in and start it up and drive it to our booth. Doing it, baby. This we're is the it. first time we're driving this car ever. Yay. It's literally gone outside for pictures and into the trailer. Okay, okay, okay. This is like fresh, no breaking in, no nothing, and she's performing excellent. Woo yeah! Shout out to Sean for the tune, man. This is sick. He tuned this thing on idle. It's running That's great. crazy. That Alltech IC7. Dude, everything, the carbon fiber from uh, Nash, from Carbonetics, everything is just great. Everything is working properly, everything. Can I just flip the target top? Yeah, can we do that? Sam! Here, take the wheel. High five, we made it. Yeah, we're at the Maguire's booth right now. He's gonna guide me in so I can be lined up perfectly and then we'll get the wheels on.
wheels are on, this thing's looking epic. Uh, the Super Stage Dab, it looks amazing. This is the end of my day. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys in the morning. You got a meet and greet, boy. Yeah. The whole team. We are here at the outside McGuire's booth, day three of SEMA. As you guys saw, we got our Supra here set up looking nice, and a lot of people have had very positive reactions about the car. So we're gonna hop out there, we're gonna talk to some people and see what they think firsthand, so you guys at home can see what everyone is talking about. I got my pointer finger here, we got a mic taped onto it, let's talk to some people. What do you think of our Mark IV Supra here? I am in love with it. I didn't think you guys were gonna be able to outdo the Eclipse last year, I'm gonna be honest, but this, I think it outdoes it. It looks great. Beautiful, so what do you think of some of the modern touches you've been putting on the cars. I like the mixture of like the modern touches with the other stuff that's cool, on here okay. as well. What's yeah. your favorite part on this car? My favorite part on this car? I'm like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I can't pick just one thing. It looks so good. I've been watching you guys build it and it's been so fun watching. Thank you. So, Thank you for yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah glad I'm you guys so could see the car. Yeah, I was very happy to see it and be able to talk to you today. So yeah, thank sweet. you. Thank you. We're live, baby! What do you think about Mark IV? Uh, it's awesome. I love it. What's your favorite part? Um, the giant turbo and then the NOS system <laughs> in the back. I think that's cool. Sweet. Uh, Thanks, man. Thanks for yeah. coming out to see the car. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, sir. What do you think about our Mark IV Super? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. I love the orange. It seems like you guys put in a lot of work. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow, that motor? Yeah, yeah. Who, who did that? Uh, yeah. Who, what's your favorite part? My favorite part is the motor. Who who built it? I did. Oh sh Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh. What's your what's Sheesh. Whoa, whoa. What's your second favorite part, sir? I don't know, the paint job. It's fantastic. It reminds me of the uh the Need for Speed movie, you know? What? <laughs> what are you in the mark for, sir? Woo! That's what I think, baby. Ayo. It's a nice Mark IV. Ayo. Yeah. I love it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hot boy! Ayo! You think of our super gentleman? Very Can't good. Can't beat it. Yeah? What's your favorite part? The big ass turbo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the modern touches we've been putting on the car? Like the good. wide body and the I like, I like the wide body for sure, but I like the classic look to it. Brings it together. Okay. What's your opinion on the double wing? The big APR wing and then the ducktail. I think it looks pretty clean. Yeah, I get only ducktail, but really, I, you're not I, a double I, wing guy. It's a little too aggressive, but I guess with the wide body, it makes sense. Fair enough. Well, thanks guys for coming out. Thanks for seeing the car. Yeah, thanks for bringing uh, it here. What do you think of our super sir? Dude, sick. I yeah. watch your guys' build because I'm building a 2J right now too. Sick. So cool. Watching your guys' video is pretty helpful, honestly. Cool. Cool. Yeah. To yeah. See what, like, Everything goes, you know. You gonna be doing a full, full build or full like engine out? Yeah, I just dropped it off to the machine shop out here called Just Racing. Sick, cool. And it'll, it'll be swapped in my 350Z. Awesome. Trying to make 1,400 horsepower out of it. So. Jeez, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I think ours is set up for about 12, so it, it'll be a pretty similar setup. So. Dude, it's clean. Yeah, thank you, man. What size turbo is that? Uh, it's a G42 1200, so she'll get down. That's on, the same on intake the manifold that I want to get to, because I still have to get the manifold, the turbo, and mm. the. I have to get yeah. a little turbo kit made for it, but that plasma, man. Dude, it's they make so good sick. stuff. They make good stuff. Is All right, aside from the engine, what's your favorite part of the car? Aside from the engine? Aside from the engine. Uh, I haven't even got to see the whole thing. I, I just <laughs> okay, walked, fair I, enough. I, I caught you too early. I caught yeah, you too early. Yeah, I pulled early. up, and this is the first thing that caught my eye was, right. was the engine. Sweet. Yeah, dude, you did, yeah. you did a really good job on it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's fun. Jay-Z's are fun engines, man. What's your favorite part of the build so far? Favorite part of the car? Shoot, it might have to be the big old wing in the back. Yeah? Looks are so you a double wing fan? Oh, yeah. The ducktail and oh, the yeah. big? Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Watch you guys build this whole thing. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, dude. Awesome. Thanks for coming out, dude. Glad of you course. guys could see the car. What do you think of our Mark IV Super here, sir? Your Super is amazing. 
Thank you. What do you think of the modern touches you've been doing to the car? Kind of switch it up from the original movie car. I think it's like very, uh, what's that like theme called? It's a uh, retro mod? Retro mod? Resto mod? Yeah, resto okay. mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's sick though. Sweet, thank it's you. really nice. What turbo are you running? It's a G42 1200. So it'll make about a thousand horsepower. It thousand should be good for about a thousand. Crazy. Yep. I think it's gonna fly. It'll be cool. What do you guys think of our Mark IV Supra? I like it. What's your favorite part? The turbo. The turbo? And the two nitrous bottles? They're plumb, so we have direct port injection on oh, the manifold, oh. so it's it's gonna be functional, it's gonna be fast. <laughs> Love it. Excuse me, sir. What do you think of our Mark IV? Oh, bro, it's so beautiful, man. I think this would, like, get my car, 370. <laughs> you know, she's a beauty. Feel. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. What's your guys' favorite part of the build so far? My favorite part is when you were installing like the cams and the, like <laughs> all that. Oh, so you guys yeah. watched the whole build series? Dude, we've oh, watched yeah, cool. the yeah, whole yeah. Build, Hell the yeah. Whole thing. Brad, I love it. From the beginning, oh. and when you started stripping the engine apart, I was like, damn, bro, I want to be like him, just ripping that shit <laughs> apart, knowing where the parts go and everything. But oh. it's so beautiful, man. Like when you guys explain everything, I like feel like I get in touch with with the car and like I see the way you guys are like doing things how passionate you guys are and that's what I like about your guys' channel and everything you guys take cars and you make them so beautiful like if it was art and that's what I like about all of you guys awesome thanks guys thanks yeah. for coming out thanks for checking out the car thank you man thank you. All right. excuse me sir what do you think of our Mark IV Supra pretty nice not too shabby not too shabby I Agreed. think my, my GTR would give it a run for a <laughs> R35 R32 oh there you go yeah it might, it yeah, might. might. it's orange too so. we haven't had this on the dyno yet so <laughs> no, this Should is make amazing. Good this is amazing. This beautiful car. Thank you. How long did it take to build? We built this car in about three weeks, four weeks. When we when it got back from the paint, obviously we sent <laughs> it out the paint. It was out the paint a little bit longer than four weeks. So what do you think of all the newer style stuff we've been doing to it? Obviously the wide body kit, the yep. drag slicks, the big APR wing is yep. not original in the movie car. No, no. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Nice updates. It looks way better. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We yeah. get we get some mixed. Uh, some mixed comments on it, you know, doing the modern take, the modern style on the cars. Yeah, so you got slicks there on the back too. Yep, she's gonna hook, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What size turbo is that? It's a G42-1200 by Garrett, it's a new G-Series. Oh, okay, yeah, that's probably beat my GTR. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get close in there yet, so. Right. Yeah, that's amazing, that's amazing. Sweet, well right thanks on. for coming out, thanks for checking out the car. Yeah, definitely. showing you some of our friends and other YouTubers rides. We are here at the Bibling booth with Rob Dom with his insane four rotor RX-7 which has been through many 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 phases, many ideas, many changes. Tell me a little bit about it Rob. Uh, well this is the beginning of the next phase of the car. Okay. This is actually the very beginning of it being a car. Right, 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 right. Is it a finished car? No, but it is finished in the sense that I have a body. This is 95 plus percentage of what I was dreaming it would look like. And so this is the body that's getting turned into carbon fiber. This is the body that you will see really essentially for the rest of the life of the car. So like I finally, the car finally has an identity. Right, right. What an amazing machine. I know you extended the front, right? Yes. Yeah, so you extended so that was the front. Actually yeah. Really difficult thing yeah. is it, an RX-7 is already really beautiful and proportionate. Yeah. I extended the front about eight inches and yeah. then it's wider by 10 inches. How do you make that look good? And right. so I was watching on YouTube, I was learning a blender to be able yeah. to, I scanned oh, it. Oh, got it like, you, got, yeah, yeah. And so for example, like see that line on top of the fender? Yes. That is not a design line, that's a function line. That is actually, we took the tire and kind of like Dr. Strange, we made one copy, scanned it out, full lock, full lock, like at full, uh, you know, shock and everything. Right. And then we came up with that line of like, that's where the tire is going to be at full, a full like, cause I'm, yeah. if I'm going to do a body kit, I, it's going to be a functional body. Right, 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 correct, so correct, like, correct. 
So the transformation is insane. I'm so glad he's running and driving now. Yeah. I heard you driving. I saw the video, this thing blowing out flames right here. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Did yeah. you get in trouble for that? No. No? Well, because there was nobody around. Like, but there was a couple yeah, people perfect. still setting up. But yeah, yeah, I'm normally like the guy that's got hard parts, okay, showing the potential. But this, right. this I, I had to open the hood and keep it open because I'm like, this is the car. Correct. Not the yeah, body. Right. And so I'm like, this thing right now in three seconds could fire up and then just roast all four tires. And yeah. so I'm like, I need people to remember that that's the car. I mean, when you said, I'm going to build a four rotor, all wheel drive, FD, everybody was like, no, no. way, it's not yep. possible. Yeah. And it's mainly because, first of all, the four rotor is not an engine you can just pick up out of over the shelf in Mazda. You can pick a three a three rotor, but not a four rotor. Everything is custom made from there. And then at the same time, making an all wheel drive system is literally impossible, except for my boy Rob. <laughs> yeah. He made it happen. Yeah, yeah, because the exhaust cool. is on the same side as the intake yes. where the drive shaft would be. And so, yeah, it yeah. is a pain to do that. And, and then now you're tuning it yourself. Tuning, building, all the wiring, all three of those are like 100% me. Nobody else touches that. So that way I have nobody to blame other than myself. <laughs> Two things. One is that whenever you see the car at any phase, that is genuinely my best. I'm giving yeah. the world my best possible at this moment. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. I've been following this build for years. And in the last year, I actually got my first FD. Oh, so yeah, I'm like yeah, just yeah, towing into the world and uh -huh. coming here and seeing this in person. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know where to start. To critique. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, insane. it's like yeah, it's so far up there. It's just like crazy to see. Yeah, yeah. here's a quick man, walk around on the uh, suspension, the wheels, yeah. the wide body. It's, I'm just like, like blown away, especially with the, the Montego blue. I wish you could do it. Oh, just, yeah. yeah, the Montego blue. Yeah, yeah. it looks so. I good. wish there was an, another FD, a stock FD right oh, here next to it. It would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, Montego see. blue. Yeah. How close the That's wrap sick. is to the stock color? So good. Yeah, I love yeah, this it. This car was bone stock when I bought it when I was 18 in yeah. 2001. You know, it was a bone stock car. So I still have the VIN. So I, it's still registered. In cool. Vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. at the inside of this car. Man. Seeing this the development. Yeah. Seeing all that stuff hanging out. Yeah. It's so cool. And so, absolutely love it. Excellent yeah. job. Oh my God. You can see everything, bro. Like yeah, I, I this it. is so sick, dude. Yeah. So it's funny. My body guy when he was helping do the you know, blend the fenders in. Uh, he was like, I'll clean up all the dents on the back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Leave the dents, because that's when I was racing Ken Block and the hood. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I remember there. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a battle scar I love. Oh, you imagine going back cool. to race that car again? This is like a completely different animal now yeah. than it was before, right? That was the very first time, literally no camera, no secret stuff. That The moment that I actually beat the Hoonicorn was the first time I'd ever launched this car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this video is in slower motion. You actually notice. I launch and then let off because I'm like, whoa, whoa what's and going then, like, wait on? Wait a second, yeah. that's not, I have to race. And then so you, so you see the car, it doesn't bog. I let off and then I get back on it and you see me, and he <laughs> isn't able to catch me. But it's so, so cool. Man. Very Super cool. Now. Oh, dude, it would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. Cool. Be awesome. yeah. Rob, yeah. thank you so yeah. much thank for the so ride. Thank you so much yeah. for. Giving us a tour of the car, what an amazing ride, man. We're here at the Magnum Full Booth with King Chach himself, who actually has two cars in the booth today. We have a new BRZ and we have a full MZ. He actually has two full Street Hunter kits on both of these cars, which is really cool. There's a lot of really nice accents and a lot of kind of heritage from through Dallas's kits that I've noticed. Yeah. Okay. But really nice touches on these. You got a good eye, Quinn. Are you guys going to be picking this apart? What's no, the, what's no, this? no, oh, no, no. Nate no, was no, like, no. we're going to no. roast you. And I was like, let's go. No, baby. I'm not here to roast yeah, you. Yeah, no. Bro. No, you could, you could, you could try. Um, <laughs> you could try. This is our new kit, the BRZ. Full front bumper replacement, full fender replacement, a hood oh, replacement, wow. size grid replacement. The only thing that you will cut into and drill up is the rear. Oh, thanks, bud. You can add that out, Vic. So it doesn't have any exposed hardware. And then the back, something I'm really stoked about. One thing we really wanted to do that I'm really proud of is the wing itself has a ton of downforce on it. Okay. So gotcha. rather than just bolting it in two tons of plates, we actually came up with oh, wow. a undercarriage design that was helped design by a battle arrow. So the weight is dispersed throughout the whole entire trunk, not just the lid. And, yeah. and the double wing, dude. The yeah, we got, yeah, we got yeah. The, the double wing. That, I mean, we, we you guys know. Yeah. On the, Miley at home, I have the double, and I was like, yeah. hey, don't, yeah. baby. Double yeah. wing is the way to go. This look right this here, dude? This is like... This is insane. This is so cool, dude. Um, the underside of the hood as well. Um, oh, dude. That's awesome. Um, that's something I love. And then another thing that we've added, too, is we also have fluid caps. Mm -hmm. It's a very modern kit, especially along the sides. Yeah. Super, it yeah. It brings back a lot of JGTC style stuff. Yeah. Wow, I'm shocked that you just pulled yeah. that out of your butt. This, because this, beautiful. 
the little canard yeah. masterpiece, the corners, you see that on a lot of R34 kits, a lot of FDs, beautiful. So I just I want to point it. out on camera that it. Quinn just, I, I love it. one of the biggest inspirations was that. We sat down and looked at a bunch of old cars. I'm so impressed that you that you noticed that. I told him that. Okay, I'm oh, like, yeah, I <laughs> I, we need the effort respects <laughs> down below because that just, that made me smile. No one has said that. So the new Z, this is our full street kit. Uh, we have a kit on Chris Forsberg's car. Yes. Uh, that is the drift version. Do you notice? So, yeah. No over fenders. Yeah. So full front fender replacements. And again, look throughout the car, zero hardware. So you have the um, two part splitter with actual. I was gonna say, this is like two different pieces. It, so this just goes the in the bumper. Yeah. And this, yeah. this is like a second add-on. Yeah, and this is, all, this is all oh, pass-through. Wow. You can and run, you can run air to the brake. The duck bill, which is also often in carbon, but we chose to keep it all black because right. this is not this is how you the car You guys didn't wrap this or paint this. Nope. That's how the car nope. shit. One thing we really try to do is not upset the OEM body lines. Body lines from this door. Oh yeah, That's yeah, yeah. our body line for the front fender. Love it. Looks Dude, great. great job, man. Thank you. Good Thank job. Yeah. Thank you. Looks good, dude. So you guys need to go to my bill side next. No, I mean, it's literally just a bill side kit. Hot boy fitment. Yeah, well, the one thing I would say, the car still needs more cut and polish. It's a little yeah. orange peeling in some areas. It's not yeah. perfect. That car, they asked us to bring that to SEMA two weeks before SEMA. Look, 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 at, look at my boy in the wall. Look, look, look at him in the wall. All right, here we are with the Throttle Boys. <laughs> and they, they came to check out our build. Hopefully they like it. Hopefully. It looks absolutely on, insane like already. So. <laughs> yeah, you I have. Like, I don't know anything about it, so I okay. want you to like, walk through it. It originally started life as a 2017 Honda Ridgeline, and then we shoved an IndyCar engine and transmission <laughs> in the back of it. So we cut it in half, sort of. Yeah, and, and slammed an IndyCar in the back. Come on, check it. So that <laughs> Holy crap. is straight out of a current generation IndyCar. It's a 2.2 liter V6 twin turbo. It's an HPD engine. It's something you can't buy. So it was very special. Now who came up with Crazy. this idea? Okay. This is sick, dude. This, this, this is I can't take wild. any credit because the body was designed by Honda North America. Okay. They're okay. Design studios, the same guys who, who designed the Civic Type R and gotcha. all the other cars, they designed this so here. So all these bits and all the pieces. All, the, wow. yep. all these crazy. bits were designed by Honda and then we sent it over our good friend John over at, at Advanced Fiberglass Concepts and he yeah. made all these pieces. Like the frame ends here, but it's it's got yeah. its own structure back yeah. here and it's tying and into the cab. Well, yeah. here's the thing, it's right? Crazy. So this engine is, in an Indy car, it's, it's, it's structural. It's a part of the car. Right. So we wanted to keep in that tradition. So so basically, the ridge line ends right here, and the rest, the suspension, everything is hung onto the transaxle. This, this build is so, so cool and so unique. It is amazing. The suspension up here. We did the same concept uh, with the suspension in the front. It's not ridge line anymore. It's actually NSX, so it's full current generation NSX. Great job, dude. Thanks, man. I'm and, glad and, you guys like shout it. Shout out on the seats. Those are the uh, our Ricardo podium seats. <laughs> yes. Which is the same ones I'm running on our dude, Supra. Look how These nice things are finger like You can pick these seats up with one finger. We tried to save as much weight as possible. Dude, so like, so even, cool. our, even our brackets are Oh carbon. yeah, look, there's slider and brackets, it's all carbon fiber. That's insane. The dash is all suede. Yeah. Man, amazing job. The inner door panels are all in carbon fiber. Yeah. I'm glad you thank guys you. like it. Yeah, dude. Thank uh, you so much for showing us the bill, man. No problem. Amazing ride. Thanks, man. No worries. So next up is B is for build. He has a 69 Mach 1 Mustang that he's done a lot of interesting things to. First one is he's wide body it, put some huge American racing wheels on it. He has a mid-engined LS swap in this thing. Insane. This is a wild build. Let's take a look. So first of all, the main thing that pops out is the wide body kit. I, this is probably the widest Mustang I've ever seen. In my entire life. Yeah, especially 100%. for being a late model like this. Not only Absolutely that. Absolutely crazy. The freaking wheels are so wide. They're so big. This is like American racing wheels are custom made for Beast for Build that we actually helped them out to get. This is a No 20 Plus. This is a really big phone. And look at this. The lip is bigger, longer than the <laughs> phone itself. This is a really, really big phone. That's insane. And I, I love it. I love the pattern, everything. Ray Caliper says B is for build. I bought it, Chris. Literally knocked it out of the park again with this one. What an insane. Look at the size curve, dude. The wide body is insane. I'm not 100% dialed in on the front fenders. The little bumps a little much for my taste, but I think it's a very tastefully done car. 
I absolutely love it. I love a good 69 Mach 1. It's one of my favorite Mustangs out there in general, and this one has done really well. Wait, that's right. These don't come with the hump here. No, they don't. They come no, I'm, I'm confusing these with a Corvette. Dude, this, this car reminds me. That's why this I call it. Right. Yeah. yeah, this, this is, is a Mustang. Mustang. Yeah, this these are supposed to be bed. slick. Oh, yeah. dude. It makes it that that much more unique, man, by having it this right it's here. It does. It's definitely a very yeah. unique and striking build, which is really yeah. cool. I do like the front lip a lot. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks for really sure. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This is a very like JDM style thing you don't see on muscle cars like ever, and, which and is I'm, really cool. And I'm glad he actually got this thing running because I know he had a hard time. But I just saw his last video, and this thing is actually running perfectly now, so that's awesome. The interior is nice and clean. I can see the Holly EF5 dash, which is a really big dash ECU monitor that you see up there. I don't know if you can. You're probably gonna have to go to the other side. Check out through the back window. You can actually see the LS engine that's in this thing. Really crazy. Really super wild to see in this configuration configuration in this car. Do you have direct port nitrous injection, which is pretty wild. Overall, super crazy build. I love it. Two nitrous bottles, firewall is made out of carbon fiber all the way around. Two chassis in the back. Cantilever Sus suspension too. Yep. Oh my crazy. God. Crazy. This thing is insane. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love Absolutely love it. love it. I like the black accents that are around the car as well. On the back, yeah. the skirt, the door jam, and then of course the front grille, which is my favorite part of it, Mach 1. Yeah, yeah man, for sure. This thing is insane. Shout out to Chris from BS for Bill, man. Check him out. This thing's insane. So we are here at the Rag Company booth where our friend Tavarish actually brought a Mark IV Supra like us. His is done a little bit differently. It's a very clean yeah. car, very it well is. put together. So let's take a look at it. One of the best things about this thing is like it's actually paint. This is paint on this car. Yeah, a lot of the looks cars seem beautiful. Seen, dude, a lot of the cars you see my wrap, but this thing is paint and it looks amazing. You can tell every single seal and rubber molding is brand new. The interior How clean is, is absolutely beautiful. That's probably one of my favorite parts about this car is everything has been redone and it is in beautiful peanut butter leather. And I like that. I like it a lot. This is a very well done, clean OEM style Supra. So it really, really is. Not, and not much aftermarket stuff on this car. I didn't expect the tan to look so well yeah, with the blue. Agreed. Like it's like agreed. huge. It looks extremely good. And it's right hand yeah. drive. Did you guys notice that? It is. So this is a JDM import car, which is very cool. And it's got mm -hmm. a few of the JDM touches, like the upgraded taillights. The same taillights we actually put on our Mark IV, which is a yes, Dookie taillights. Yeah. They look really nice. The rear badging and the front badging, the old school Toyota Super badge, looks really nice. I love Epic, a good amazing. classic Toyota badge. It makes the whole car. Of course, this car is a single turbo and it has some fun stuff under the hood. But other than that, on the outside, it's a very clean looking car, which I absolutely love about it. Have you noticed that dash and stuff has been full Fully wrapped in leather and suede. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty beautiful. amazing. It it's is great. beautiful. It reminds me of our skyline. You know, yes, just yes, that exactly. Level of detail on the interior. Yeah, for real. It's it's you don't see it that often, which is which is, makes it very refreshing. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Shout out to Tom Irish, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful build. I know we and him met up earlier to talk about yep, it. And it was it. and he explained us everything. And wow, what an amazing ride, man. Good job, buddy. Great car, brother. All right, everybody. Wrapping up day four of SEMA, and everybody has been looking at the Supra, giving some really good comments reviews they all love it just as much as we do hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of the reactions that we showed you it's been a blast here being here seeing the reaction to the z the freak in in the magaflow booth and of course the super here at the mcguire's booth outside everybody went home to their families ricky was the lone wolf here to take care of the cars when i got here now i'm the lone wolf here to get everything home safely and get back to work next week we'll see you guys for the next build hopefully you liked everything we showed you we had a blast thank you to all the partners make sure to like comment and subscribe we'll see you next time